Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Business. My name is Daryl Kwao, managers of the new customs management system, Unipass, and since the objective is to reduce the cost of doing business at the country's seaports and frontiers, they say they are unfazed by the targeted negative media campaign by persons they say have opposed the system from onset. The operations manager of Ghana Link Network Services Limited, Raymond Amaglo, uh, the local partners for Korea Customs Services, tells my colleague, Novan Akwa Hayford, Unipass is to help block all revenue leakages. Unipass system is a single system. It is supposed to block all the various loopholes that causes so much leakages in the revenue that are collected at the end of the year. Because there are different systems having to interact, and with the various challenges that comes along, we have issues with leakages. And even our ability to collect, even with, 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 with what we are collecting, we should be doing far better than, than, than that. There are studies to show that currently, customs are probably collecting below 60% of what they should be collecting. And in the, in the, in the sub-region, comparatively, we are, not, we are not where we should be. When government is given a lot of exemptions through going to parliament to get those approvals, when we decided to do benchmark values reduction, you want to blame a vendor for it? Not necessarily. Of course. Who should be held responsible? Of course, when government comes up with policies of this nature, it is definitely going to have an effect on how much will be raised. But the point I'm making to you is that we would have been raising more than we are currently doing. And that is the reason when these policies come up, we even tend to, we are, we are tending to go further down with our collections. The systems in place are not able to ensure that these loopholes are blocked. That is the challenge currently. I mean, <laughs> Now, oil firm Tallow is confident of smooth production and offtake in the Jubilee field. This follows successful completion of the last phase of the project to fix the tired bearing. Joy Business has got insight into the groundbreaking innovation used in replacing the tired bearing during a tour of the vessel. The FPSO Kwame Nkuma uses one of the biggest turrets ever constructed in the oil industry. The turret not only enables the FPSO position favorably against the wind and weather, it also is a major component to which pipes carrying up oil and gas are connected. In 2016, lead operator of the Jubilee field, Talo Oil, confirmed damage to the turret bearing, which could no longer rotate as originally designed. The turret remediation project was to replace the bearing and improve offtake. This is the turret. It's where the ESDV, so the emergency system valves are and it's the interface between subsea and top sides so where all the process fluids flow or the injection water is sent subsea offshore field manager bruce tate shows us the fixed turret the turret bearing has been replaced so we we formed a different another type of bearing is in its place and we changed location as well so the heading used to be on 277 and now we are 205 so I got another way of testing the bearing and we came around onto location so we now face a 205 uh, heading. The remediation project is the first of its type at sea. The groundbreaking innovation that fixed the turret and creates an efficient offloading system alongside production. What did the magic the deployment of what is known as the calm boy, a floating hull with a rotating head which vessels can moor, fabricated in Estonia. It was retrofitted on the Jubilee FPS Okwam Kuma and is located more than 1.8 kilometers away from the FPSO. The FPS Okwam Kuma currently produces 96,200 barrels of oil a day as challenges have been fixed. Production in the Jubilee field is a mix of complicated systems. Tate says their ability to run these processes seamlessly speaks volumes about Talo's technical expertise to facilitate smooth and safe production of oil and gas. And that's your business update. Sports is up next. Stay tuned.